Hello, it's me. So today, instead of chasing shaper graphs, I've got a little special treat. Prototype IDEX slash hybrid plates. So uh, these plates are a little bit different. They are three millimeters. They're the normal stock plates, excuse me, are three millimeters thick. These are four millimeters thick. Then there's another one millimeter on the two areas that hold the bolt stacks, um, the, or sorry, the bearing stacks, and then the bolts that go into the 3030 extrusion are still at the four millimeter cut. So in general, it's basically one millimeter thicker with extra rigidity added where necessary and reduced stack size. So. As you can see, I already have the bottom motor mounts from him, and I'm going to be adding the top hybrid plate today. So the bottom motor mounts are already set up. Per the instructions, I've got the eight millimeter spacer at the bottom there, followed by the 30 millimeter spacer that came with the kit into the bolts that go into the 3030. Um, these are M6 bolts. These two here are M5 bolts that I had um, that were of the correct length. Uh, this one requires a 40 millimeter length because that's the one that goes down into this and shares the same screw hole as that back bearing stack. So you can't go any larger than 40 millimeters. And even then it requires two one millimeter spacers. This one you can actually use a 45 because there's no bolt down there. Um, and you don't need really spacers, but for consistency and so I didn't accidentally put the wrong bolt in the bolt, wrong location, I used 40 for both of these and two one millimeter spacers for both of these. So the upgrade procedure is pretty simple. Um, pull all these bolts out, pull the plate off, install the new plate on the motor, put it in place. But with the um, additional, uh, with the additional changes here, the fact that this is a three millimeter plate going to a four millimeter plate going to essentially five millimeters for these bolt stacks, you will not need any spacers on these. So 40, millimeter bolts will be able to go straight down into this without any spacers so that saves you two spacers here two spacers two of the one millimeter spacers here and here uh, so i'm gonna stop the video now and go ahead and get these swapped out okay so when you go to install the plate on your motor one thing to keep in mind is that the uh screws or bolts that come out are uh Champ or uh, chamfered? Brain not working today. Are chamfered um, bolts that are or chamfered M threes that are six millimeters long, right? So, God, why does that not focus? There we go, six millimeters long. So I have a chamfered and a non-chamfered six millimeters long there. And then in the back, I have a button head, uh, a little round head and a regular um, bolt head that are eight millimeters long. Uh, eight millimeters is what you're gonna want. Uh, six millimeters, both the chamfered and button head are way too, um, too short. So um, I prefer the rounded look, less for the belt to catch on it oh, and make it easier. It gives a nice clean look. And when I flip this over, you can actually see that the chamfer basically is nothing. The chamfer six millimeter is basically non-existent. The button head six millimeter has just two millimeters above, obviously four millimeter plate. And then the two eighths have very nice four millimeters of attachment to the motor. So that is something you'll need to keep in mind. You'll want M3 bolts that are eight millimeters long um, oh, countersunk, that's the word I'm thinking of, non-countersunk screws. So um, I prefer the rounded head, 
but um, the button heads here, the black kind of the thicker heads do not have uh, have less problems with stripping. So if you're an oaf, um, get the bigger head. If you're not, smaller head is fine. Okay, so I've got different uh, spacers on there. It's, they are 10 millimeter and eight millimeter spacers instead of 10 millimeter and two four millimeter spacers. And I did that just because um, I wanted something silver. I did not find any replacement spacers for this, unfortunately, because I was looking for 38 millimeter spacers instead of getting um, eight and 30. Um, found stock uh, that I could have used, but I didn't have a great way to cut it and ensure accuracy. So maybe that'll be my next, you know, kit thing I change out. Uh, but this is uh, how I've got it set up right now for installing the plate. Uh, I just wanted to show this real quick so you can actually see how I use very little blue painter's tape to kind of hold things roughly where they need uh, uh, need be as an extra set of hands. Um, you know, funny enough, actually, now that I think about this, in the garage I have... Um, Helping hands, magnetic helping hands, in fact, actually, um, that I probably could have used instead of blue painter's tape, but yeah, maybe I'll grab them and give that a try for the next one over there. Um, but here we go. And there we go. Everything slid into place and dropped into the correct holes. There's just barely enough, just barely enough engagement with the 3030 um, Tina down here with this stock bolt you can just barely catch it which is good so make certain your alignments are ideal when you put these in um, but yeah pretty straightforward uh, oh and one note on um, this as well uh, or on the setup the since the thickness of the plate underneath the motor is four, four millimeters not three millimeters um, when you replace the plate you will need to lower your uh, pulley by the equivalent amount one millimeter so don't forget to lower your pulley before you <laughs> do any homing otherwise you may grind your belt and have a bad time Okay, so for the keen eye among you, you may have noticed that I am using really low profile socket heads versus the non low profile socket heads that shipped with the kit. I just happen to buy these and have these on hand. These are M5 40 millimeter bolts, which is why I use them over buying more of these with the socket head. My preference is the socket head. The reason why is the low profile has a bigger head and does not actually fit uh, here next to the motor on uh, you know some of these. So um, you want to make certain you have the spacing to get this straight and not tilted at all and properly pushed down. Um, here you've got enough room, like you definitely have enough room for the low profile there, but, um, make certain when you go to buy the M40s or the, uh, M5 X40s, uh, to get the regular socket head, not the low profile. Um, I'll need to change out one of them over on that other one. I have it down there. And that's all she wrote. They are attached really solidly really really liking them definitely the tolerances are really nice like i mentioned before about the lower plates they are much easier to line i don't have to worry about um, them being a tenth of a millimeter or more off like the stock plates they were spot on so and i've got these roughly tensioned 
roughly tension. So time to run input shaper. Generates shaper graphs. So, yay.